Hi everyone, I hope you're well today. Thanks for checking out today's video. So today I've got a, I've got something a little bit different. Um, for those of you who have watched my videos, um, you'll probably know I do Slimming World. So I thought I would do a video about Slimming World today. Um, as this is a different type of video, possibly um, some of you have not been on my channel before. Um, hi, my name is Hannah and this channel is kind of a bit of everything, lifestyle, makeup, and now some Swimming World. Um, and I do also have another channel um, dedicated to my music, which you can find in the link below. So, I thought today I could share some of my top 10 tips for um, Swimming World, things that I found have worked for me so far. So, originally I was gonna wait to do this video, not kind of sure when, I was kind of, I was gonna wait until I had like a long period where I was just losing, you know, every single week and just doing really well for ages. Then I kind of realised like that doesn't really matter, like the, the journey is the journey, you know, it's, that's part of it. You go up, you go down, you stay the same, like it's all part of the journey and it doesn't actually take away from what you've achieved so far. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do it because I've had gains, I've had losses, I've had maintains, so yeah, and I mean, the last week actually, um, I, well, two weeks ago I got my two stone award and then last week I had a pretty bad week um, and I've just gone just outside of that. I'm about, I think, a pound over my two stone award, which is kind of gutting, but in a way this video will help me as well, kind of remind me of my tips to kind of stay focused as well. I think I've done a little bit better this week, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have a loss this week, but either way, it's all part of the journey and I'm going to get there eventually anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what should I start with? Okay, so I've been doing Semi Wild since October 2017, so that is oh, just about seven, no, yeah, nearly eight months, um, because we're the 1st of June, so nearly eight months, because I started at the beginning of October, um, and like I said, I hit my two stone and I'm just outside that, so I've got about another stone and a little bit to go. Um, so I'm over halfway there, so I'm trying to remind myself that when I'm feeling like a bit rubbish about it, like, over halfway there, we're doing well. Um, and seeing as I have lost that amount, I thought, well, my tips must work to some degree anyway, so I thought it'd be fun to share them. Um, so I've got my little list, so that's why I'm going to keep looking down, I don't want to get it wrong. So, my number one tip is to not give up. Don't give up, even when it seems rough. Like I've just said, I had a really bad week last week um, and I just went outside of my two stone. It's so important you don't give up. Draw a line under it, go, okay, yeah, that was pretty rubbish. That was a shit time. But we're drawing a line under it and it can only go up from here. Um, put your positive pants on, I like that saying, <laughs> and we're just gonna get on with it. So that is my number one tip, don't give up. <sighs> because even if it takes a long time, you'll get there in the end. And it doesn't matter how long, how quick it takes. Um, this is like my consultant said, everyone gets to the same place of hitting their target. It doesn't matter how quick or slow you do it. Everyone gets what they want in the end. So, my second tip is that it helps to go with people if you can. So for instance, I go with some family and some friends. Um, so perhaps in your life, said. Why is it when I always film a video, there's always some sort of plane going past or an ambulance or something? <sighs> so perhaps there's some family or friends in your life that have expressed interest in Swimming World in the past. Um, so see if you go with them. So if you do live with other people, I find that it helps to let them know you're doing Swimming World and then kind of explain the plan to them. Um, this is especially good if you're not the one doing the cooking. So it kind of helps to get the other people on board um so for instance everyone around me knows uh, i do swimming world and like and my boyfriend there's like a swimming world uh free frozen meal there or low sin snacks or you know because they know i'm on it and they want to help me out so if there's no one you can go group with or the people understand around you don't understand the plan don't worry this is going to tie into my next tip so do stay to group when you can um it's really important if people like around you outside Swimming World aren't on board yet, that you get the support and inspiration you need from within group. I find that I have the best weeks with Swimming World when I stay to group and I get all the inspiration, the motivation, everything, you know, um, and I find that really helps. 
And anyway, as time goes on, it's very likely the people around you will see how well you're doing, how much you get to eat and still lose weight, um, and they're more likely to be on board with it. So obviously back in October, I suggested to my mum and one of our friends that we go to, uh, go to Slimming World after, after reading um, some of the Slimming World magazines. That is another extra tip I'll throw in, I suggest, um, getting the Slimming World magazine, even if you're not a member yet, um, get the magazines, you can buy them from the shops. Um, and if you are a member, you can get it for a reduced rate in group, really just full of inspiration and motivation. Um, so anyway, I suggested we go. And several other f family and friends are actually really impressed with how well we're doing on it. And um, multiple others have actually expressed interest and asked about how the plan works and all of that. So the results speak for themselves. So whether you do stay to group or you don't, I highly suggest you um, become a member on your group's Facebook page. Um, so you have to ask your consultant to um, become a member of that. So even if you don't post a lot, it's really good idea to um, to be a member so you can see what other people are posting and just get loads of inspiration and ideas um, for food. And it just helps you keep that motivation going through the week. So the next tip is to find the right consultant. Um, if you haven't got a consultant you click with, it's going to be a bit harder. Um, I'm so lucky because my consultant is one of the nicest women you will ever meet. She's so lovely and understanding. But don't be afraid to change groups until you find the right one, um, as there's usually several groups in the area, so find the one that works for you. So talking about kind of different groups, um, I would highly suggest if you can't make your usual group to still go and weigh in another group that week. So for instance, sometimes I can't always make my usual Saturday one, so me and mum will go to the Wednesday one. Um, and we're really lucky because our lovely consultant runs that one too. Um, but I don't think it has to be your consultant that runs it. I think it's any of the ones. So even though that the weight kind of fluctuation won't be 100% accurate as it's not your usual day, um, I do find making sure I weigh in every single week. It helps keep me accountable to myself. Also, that group are going to have loads of tips um, and inspiration for you and you get to meet loads of other lovely people. So, so this one is a big one for our family. Um, it really helps if you can plan your week. Um, so when I say this, um, you don't have to go mad. Personally, we just plan our dinners, um, but you can plan breakfast, lunch, dinner, or whatever works for you. We just do dinners. Um, so I'm pretty lucky because pretty much my whole house do Slimming World, including my mum who does the cooking and the shopping and stuff. But if it's only you, um, and if you do the cooking and the shopping, you can obviously plan yourself. Um, and there's so many Slimming World alternatives to like favourites, like chicken nuggets and burgers. So even if you have like fussy children or whatever, there's usually something that will work. Uh, my youngest brother, he's a bit fussy, um, and even he really likes the Slimming World chicken nuggets and egg fried rice. So there's something that will work for everyone there, I'm sure. Um, and it really doesn't taste like diet food, so. However, if you don't do the shopping or cooking, maybe talk to the person who does and like come up with a plan. Perhaps they can make you a Slimming World version of what the rest of the family were gonna have that night anyway. Um, or you can cook your own meal to make sure it's 100% on plan. And it really doesn't involve a lot of fancy ingredients. It's um, usually very simple changes like the oil you use, so changing to fry light. Um, extra fruit and veg, leaner cuts of meat, um, so you can still enjoy what the rest of the house is having just with like a few simple changes. So my next one is don't let a bad meal or day become a bad week. Okay so you know you've had a meal or a day that just hasn't been great, um, so don't give up and eat like that all week, just go draw a line under it, it's like my first tip, don't give up, draw a line under it and go okay I ate like that, it was really good. I enjoyed it, wasn't the best of my weight loss, draw a line under it and we'll get back on plan. Just remember, just because it's been a bad meal or a bad day doesn't mean it's going to be a bad week in terms of weighing. I've lost what number I'm on but the next one is to up your speed, um, especially if you have had a bad day or a bad week or what whatever, really concentrate on upping your speed the remainder of the time um, and it usually helps save the way. <laughs> I'm so funny. Yeah, but it normally does help um, you can kind of get away with it a bit more if you kind of up your speed. Um, so, the next one is one that might not necessarily work for everyone, but I'm going to mention it because it works for me. Um, so personally, I do like to have sort of like a cheat day. 
Um, so I weigh Saturday morning. So usually Saturdays um, after I've weighed and Sundays, I kind of eat what I like. So after weighing um, on Saturday and Sunday, I usually kind of eat what I like. Um, this kind of was no problem at first, but as I'm kind of getting more towards target, I can't get away with it quite as much as I used to. So I'm going to eventually cut down to just the Saturday or eventually like just a meal or just an afternoon or something. Um, but however, you know, having that little period, um, it kind of works for me because um, in the week I know, you know, if there's something I really want, um, that I really want to blow all my sins on, um, I can have it at the weekend. Though, even though you can eat pretty much anything you like in Swimming World, there's some things I do prefer to save as it's so high in sins, it just blow all my sins out and I, you know, I'd, and I don't want it to throw me off for the week, so I kind of save it for the weekend. Um, so, the next one is to do with Instagram and posting pictures and stuff. So I don't personally have my own like Slimming World Instagram, but I know people that do. I follow people that do. Um, so whether you do create your own, follow people, just post the odd picture here and there and on your group page like I do, um, whatever works for you. It's all extra inspiration, extra motivation. You know, do what works for you. There's so much inspiration out there. There's so many different meals you can make. I, I saw something about like a KFC, version, Swimming World KFC version of like, it was really cool, there's so much out there. Um, so that I think is 10 tips, I will do a little extra tip. So um, I find it helps to have your go-to low sin or free snacks when you're really hungry, um, you know you've kind of got stuff to like pig out on as such. Um, so sometimes you're really not in the mood for fruit, like I find with me, like I'm, I go, oh, I'm really not in the mood for fruit. But when I start eating it, I like it. But sometimes you're like, I really don't want fruit <laughs> right now. So if you know you can still kind of protect your weight loss, um, that would be good, obviously. So some of my go-tos, for instance, at the moment are barbecue beans. Probably sounds really weird, but I'll just have like beans on their own. <laughs> um, zero sugar drinks, though I am trying to cut down on this because I have probably a bit too much. <laughs> um, Hartley's 10 cal jelly, Muller Light yogurts. There's so many different things that are low sin. Um, and free. Uh, watch YouTube videos on it. I know there's loads of people that say about their favourite low sin free snacks. Um, from group you can get the low sin and free snack book that cover like most of the supermarkets. Um, oh there's so many and uh, you'll discover through like trying things what your favourite. One thing I really like I mentioned in a favourite is the Milky Bar mousse and a lovely lady at my group actually said um, I should freeze them um, and they're four sins and it's basically like ice cream and it's really good. So there's so many things. Uh, maybe in the future I'll do a video on my favourite low sin snacks, free snacks, if you're interested. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I feel like I've talked at top speed because <laughs> I don't want my uh, microphone to run out. Please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, I would quite like to do some more semi-world videos if it's wanted. Um, and please just leave me any comments in the down bar, like your favourite Slimming World tips or just anything. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys.